Yes, and as a matter of fact, we're also hearing reports that some people could actually hear it even a mile away. Now, police told Action News that this was a gas explosion, but that has not been confirmed by fire investigators or consumers energy. Take a look behind me here at what's left of the building here. And thankfully, no one, it's believed no one was inside at the time when the explosion destroyed the building and rocked nearby neighborhoods. Blew up. And we all ran out, and it was raining down wood and concrete and everything. It was an explosion that could be felt for blocks, and it left glass and debris flying everywhere. Some people quickly began taking video with their cell phone cameras, and up above, a Michigan State police chopper gives us a grainy bird's eye view of the fire. It all happened just after 8 last night on Hoover, inside a commercial laundry that the fire commissioner said seemed to be a part time operation. Given that this is a major thoroughfare, and to have only one minor injury from a civilian across the street, I would say we are extremely lucky at this time. The one injury was to a man who told Action News he was sitting in his car nearby when it happened. He was treated on scene for his injuries and says it felt like everything came crashing down. I hear a loud explosion. All of a sudden I see all parts of the building flying at me and landed on the car. Sh shook me up. Just shook me up. Many say it seemed like a gas explosion. I, I thought it was a bomb. It scared me real bad. I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. It scared. I'm still shaking right now. Now we hope to find out more from investigators later today. Now we should also tell you that Hoover, between Timken and Stevens Road here, uh, is back open now. And in front of the building, we understand that just one lane, it looks like just one lane northbound is open. Again, right in front of the building here that exploded. And a few nearby businesses also will be having to do a lot of work today because they did sustain some damage during the explosion, a lot of them suffering some broken windows. Reporting live in Warren, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News. Back to you.